What's up guys, welcome back to Lion Mark TV, Mark here with another exciting, delighting and much interesting video here on the channel, you know, this one is for Peter Obi, even the elderly are now in full support of this um, movement, it's a movement, it's actually not a campaign because campaign is something that politicians pay for, this one is a movement, it's a voluntary movement, it's a thing that the people really want as someone said um in the comment section one of my previous videos that the ebos are showing to be showing too much interest and it's making them look too ambitious to become the president of this country well peter b is not a an Igbo president the word Igbo is not even in this movement if it was an Igbo thing then i think a lot of people would have well moved away you know it's a, it's about being able to vote someone who has a dignity who has integrity who knows the the core value of democratic government anyway enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe drop a comment in the comment section this one was really an interesting I recognize the former vice president of Nigeria and my leader, Laji Atiku Abubakar. All other protocols, Zuli. Mine is a very simple one. Let me start by thanking the organization for inviting me. As you know, I'm one of those strongest beneficiaries of the judiciary. For my strong legal team, for the work of my small legal team led by Dr. Yechi Bazu, SAN, and led OJ Nadi, SAN, I wouldn't be standing here. You know now from my election petition to my impeachment to my eternal interpretation. And again, whenever people talk about corruption in the legal or in the judiciary, and one who takes the exception, in all this journey, I did not give anybody one error. So for me, for me, For me, I remain eternally grateful to you for what you did for me to be here and everything. Our topic today is well, democratic transition in the 21st century Nigeria, 2023 and beyond. I think it's for great people like you or people like Chimamanda are invited, but for me as a trader, I will try to contribute in my own little way, the way I think we should go. For me, democracy, have a simple description. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. That means everything about democracy is the people. And transition means changing from one thing to the other, and for me, Nigeria needs urgent transition from being a highly insecure country to a secure country, from a disunited country to a united country, from corruption to a transparent country, from a country of lawlessness to a country of law and order. But in all this, it is important that we look at where we are today for people to understand the gravity of the journey we are going to take if we are going to transit. Where are we today? Nigeria has qualified to be a failed state. We have met the two or three biggest characteristics of a failed state. Number one is when you are no longer in charge of your territory. 
Today, we are among the top terrorized countries of the world. We are among the top kidnapping countries of the world. Bandit criminality, bandits have taken over some parts of this country. Nigerians are being killed daily. Nigerian all sorts of criminality is going on daily. Even our most important source of foreign exchange revenue, oil, is today 80% stolen. That shows how bad it is. We are the only country, apart from Venezuela, who we know is their own is because of sanctions, that is not meeting up its OPEC quota. Every other country is begging for increase, but Nigeria is not meeting up its own. And you wouldn't believe the quantity that is missing. In July alone, our total average, our quota is 1.8 million. In July, our total average was 1,083,000 barrels a day. That means that in July, we lost 707 thousand barrels per day if you multiply that by 20 31 days it will give you 22 million 227 barrels of oil that we lost this is a country that needs dollar if you sell it if you sell that oil if you sell the quantity we lost this is july alone if you sell it at the average price of $110, it will give you $2 billion, $450 million, which at our rate of exchange of $550, you lost, if you use $550, because I used an average of $550, you've lost $1,344,700,000,000. That is your country. That's what you lost in one month because of stealing. It is important that we know this. Number two item, number two item to show that we are first state is that you are no longer in control of your economy. Your economy today, today we have an economy that where we have over 100 million people living in poverty, your unemployment is one of the worst in the world because you have a combined unemployment of 50%, unemployment and unemployment. Out of 200 million Nigerians, 60% is supposed to be working. So you're supposed to have 120 million Nigerians working, but today Nigerians that are working are under 50 million. So 70 something million of Nigerians are not working, they are not productive, when you compare this to your productivity, you will see how low it is. But what is even worse, we're in a physical mess, total physical mess, because of all this. Between January this year and April, the total revenue of federal government of Nigeria is 1 trillion 630 billion naira. Their expenditure is 4 trillion 720 billion. If you minus this, we have a deficit of 300, 3 point, 3 trillion, 100 billion. That shows almost 20 percent, almost 200 percent is the deficit. And this is the crisis you face. How did we come here? It's a cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years. Because it's 10 percent, I'll stop here, I would have talked about power. How did we come here? What are we going to do very quickly to come out of this? Very quickly, you need to have a visionary, articulated, competent leadership to start turning around this. So, next year, next year, the time is up, I'll take it that now next year, the election you're going to have next year will not be about 
Remember, it is not about tribe, no religion, not connection, not entitlement. It must be a lesson about character, competence, capacity, and commitment to deliver.